Salam and welcome back to another very exciting, hopefully very exciting um, video. Man, it's been a while since I've said that. So today I'm going to be trying to attempt to do something very different, which is uh, to animate this uh, illustration. It's a very cool illustration. It's made um, inside of Photoshop and it's already been divided into separate parts so that it should be easier um, to animate, but I don't think it will be. Uh, one of my friends who is um, working in um, NGO asked me to animate this. It's gonna be a really tough one, I think. So yeah, it's very detailed. Yeah, I'm gonna be documenting this. Um, by documenting, I mean, I'm gonna be recording this video and showing it to you guys on YouTube. This is the um, about an ad campaign that is um, conducted by IAC, which is International Aid Campaign. Um, they conduct this type of um, aid campaigns uh, to help out uh, the people in need, like war-torn countries like Syria, Yemen and places like that. So yeah, I'm gonna be helping out sort of uh, with this uh, by animating this. I don't know, maybe I might train this. So let's see what we can do. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm trying to separate these um, layers and I'm trying to prepare um, this file for After Effects so that I have all the layers um, that I need to um, animate also so that I don't lose any layers uh, that is extremely important and and also so that I don't have too many layers to work with yeah I might get confused All right, so this wine is behind the sleeve and I'm gonna repair this part. Let's try that. All right, so for the text part, I'm not gonna be putting much animation on this English part, but I'm gonna be uh, animating this typography. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag and drop this here and see what we can do with it. Maybe everything will go smoothly. Okay, I guess editable. Everything is hidden, make everything appear. Okay, first thing um, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and um, animate this typography. So, um, like, what can we do with this? How about, I guess, yeah, this effect looks good. I mean, it's too detailed. I should probably use 3D software for, for this, but um, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just use the old fashioned stroke effect all right so i'm gonna put this effect on all of the layers and see you guys then perfect don't send let's try to open that again please please auto save okay all right so here's uh, what we have got so far yeah pretty straightforward i don't know about this effect um but let's see um with everything else with all the leaves and stuff maybe it's gonna be it's gonna be good all right so now let's go ahead and um try and animate the rock the rock i'm gonna hide all of these layers and um so yeah i have um separated um, these layers so the idea is uh, to for this uh, water to appear out of um, nowhere all right so to do that i'm just gonna be drawing some shapes using the pen tool okay let's make this as easy as possible let's uh, use very few anchor points so that we don't have to animate too much all right, so the idea is uh, to animate 
these anchor points to appear like so so i see you guys after um i animate this all right so here's the result okay so it turned out um better than what i expected all right so now for this part pretty straightforward um i'm gonna just make it pop up maybe scale keyframe just zero yep just um something like this maybe offset a little bit make everything smooth yep play right looks cool all right so now for the hardest part of this entire video the leaves i'm gonna start with um the leaves in the front so what can we do with this now let's change the composition to background composition color to white 2700 pixels that may be the reason why my pc is going crazy so i'm gonna animate this guy first of all i'm gonna use the puppet tool it's way easier i guess puppet okay so that i can like move it around Yay, woo. okay um All right, so here's why I separated these strawberries from the original layer. Let's take a look. So yeah, I wanted to make them appear separately. Kind of cool. All right, so I stopped the recording and um, this is the next day. So yeah, it's, I think it's almost done. I just want to show you guys uh, real quick why I'm using editable Photoshop files. So if I want to um, edit, maybe let's say this file, this shadow layer, um, I can just right click here and open edit original and it will just show me the file layer 58 layer 58 where are you yep i think it's here so i can just take the uh, eraser tool and maybe erase this part as well paint this part something like this and save it and uh, go to after effects and it will update the file automatically so see that really cool let's delete this part draw some more save update yep so that is the beauty of um, using um editable files but the catch is it's using up more than uh, 60 percent of my ram space okay so i'm gonna stop the recording and i'm gonna see you guys after i finish up all of these all right so i'm done with all the animations let's go ahead and render it out and let's see the final big reveal
all right that is it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and if you are new to this channel it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe um i make graphic design related content in this channel including motion graphics video editing and animation i hope i'll see you guys in the next video until then salam Wish that I can be somebody that can live just like you did And now that I know my life's been such a bliss